Hello, Monsters of Anger, and welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms and part 41 of the campaign formerly known as the Martun campaign. We're currently laying siege to Leo Bay's capital. This will be the second capital that we need of the three. And uh, everyone's here. When I say everyone, I mean, you know, we've got Marchow. We've got, uh, there's Mumsy. Oh, she's she's quite old now. She's getting on, but she doesn't look too bad, actually. I mean, you know, she... She's looking all right, isn't she? She's, she's you know, doing quite well for herself. And of course, we've got Pooh. There's Pooh. Lovely. And we've got Ma Yushing. He's my, uh, he's my, my heir, my son. He is, uh, I mean, everyone says he's a nice boy. But uh, he's the kind of nice boy. He, yeah, yeah, he'd help grannies across the road. But as soon as your max turns, he'd probably help them with their shopping as well. The deviant bastard. So, just keep an eye out for him. Uh, arrow's now raining down on the defenders. The defenders, who, I'm going to be honest, we have been pounding them with artillery for quite a while now. And they're not looking very happy. We've got a few generals. So we've got, uh, who's this one here? We've got Du. Do there and uh, Zhao Fu, and over here defending the the city center is Wulan. Most of the defenders are currently trying to hold the city gates. This point here, where we've got some nice holes in the wall there, including some uh, floating corpses. Of course, ancient China known for its floating corpses, well known. In fact, if you look on Wikipedia, or pretty much an entire section about the great. Um, Ch Chinese floating corpses. More artillery raining down, trying to take out this fort. Well, we're trying to make as many entrances as possible. Infantry now moving up in the turtle and uh, shield wall formations to try and protect them from the archer fire as much as possible. Also, because it looks pretty badass as well. So far, so good. So we've got some defenders of the earth. Defenders. Uh, they are, well, we're taking them out ASAP because those guys are pretty mean, pretty pretty nasty to deal with. Got some protectors of heaven here as well, which we need to deal with. Um, our Chow wants to cut out people's hearts. And yeah, well, that, that may well be the case. That may well be that Mar Chow might be best, you know, maybe saving his breath. Here comes our officers all together. Because Ma Yusheng has the green, uh, was it the, the green dragon crescent blade clawed from the cold dead hands of Guan Yu. Arrows raining down, infantry now moving in. We've got another hole in the wall there, it's looking pretty good. Trebuchet continue to rain down fire. In goes our infantry. It's brutal and close fighting, but there's already. Lots of bodies. Ma Yusheng is dueling the enemy general. Where is he? Where is he? Where is a little scallywag? And Ma Chao is... All oh, there we go. He's got him. And Ma Chao is going to duel the other enemy general. However, to do this, he apparently... Uh, runs into a wall. Well... Currently, he's just staring at a wall. And uh, the other enemy... I'm not sure where the other enemy general is, to be honest. I think she's stuck as well. So basically, they're... Ah! Oh, there she is. They're, this this is like that scene at Doctor Who, where uh, Rose and the Doctor were, were either side of the wall and couldn't reach each other. Well, Ma Yusheng has... Yeah, has, has exploded the enemy. Oh, there we go. There, there's his... Yeah, so... Machao is... <sighs> Fuck's sake. Apparently they're just like, just staring at... So that duel will go on forever, basically. Um, but while that's going on... Pooh, Mummy, and also... Who's this guy? Zhang Ba. Zhang Ba are just charging through the enemy lines. There we go. Just running through them. In goes Mai Yusheng as well. Right into the rear of the enemy units defending the gates. Absolute carnage ensues as our generals just chew their way through. So much so that the game lags. The game just goes, I can't deal with this much power all in one place. So we'll just let it... Let's get in there. Give it a second. It's fine. It'll be fine. I'm just going to have a sip of tea while we, while we wait. Nope. 
just talk amongst yourselves. So, how about this? Oh, there we go. The fact they're saying that while stuck either side of a fucking wall is... Is brilliant. Okay, so... Fuck me. Brilliant. Okay, so that's happening. Right, lovely. Uh, so, while that's going on, uh, the absolute carnage ensuing at the gate here as as Ma Yusheng and uh, his his officers chew their way through the enemy infantry. The rest of the officers now... I mean, look, look. Ma Yusheng just smashing his way through. He's up to 72, 74 kills. Uh... Mummy is up to 43. Pooh up to 62. Basically, it's carnage. Absolute carnage. We've still got some units to deal with here, uh, just below the floating infantry, but uh, that's fine. We will gradually just ground, ground them down. How's the, how's the duel between Mar, Mar Chow and uh, Do that person going? Yep, yeah, no, they're still... Still separated by a wall. Good, good stuff. Okay, the rest of our officers, though, getting shit done. Look at this. Running down infantry unit after infantry unit, just chewing their way through them. No contest. The enemy warriors are running. <laughs> I'm not surprised, to be honest. Is this still, still, still going on? Okay, so... Yeah, we're definitely winning at the wall here. We've got a unit of spear guards coming around behind. This infantry unit at the wall. We're going to go and hit them in the rear. That's going to break them, free them up. The rest of our officers... Are just, just killing everyone, basically. Just running through. 116 kills there. 131 there. Basically, there's nothing the enemy can do to stop all of these guys. Um, they've managed to stop Ma Chao with a cunning use of a wall that apparently Ma Chao can't... He's like, I, I, I could I could go around the wall, but I refuse to. I'm too good for walls. So he's just... Basically, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to retreat Ma Chao out of this duel because no one's going to win it. And because no one can win it, do will never break. So we're going to have to... I'm going to have to make Marchal run away simply because otherwise this duel will just go on forever and this battle will never end. However, I think it's fair to say that we have well and truly smashed the enemy defenders just in the last few units defending the city centre there, but that's no big problem to deal with. Just a few archers who apparently are out of ammo. Are they out of ammo? Yeah, they're out of ammo and apparently charging our infantry. Seems like a bad idea. Almost certainly is. They've now decided to run away. That's probably... That's probably sensible so I'm, I'm going to chalk that one up for a win for us it does go on for a little bit longer we just go and chase down this guy and eventually i have to make marchal run away because obviously he he won't stop running into a wall which is a little bit anticlimactic but um there we go we have captured the second of the three capitals just woo to go What a fight. It's just a shame that Leo Bay wasn't there. With utter belief, and you will be undefeatable. Obviously his brothers wouldn't be there because they're dead. <laughs> oh, this belongs to us now. It does belong to us. No longer Emperor. Emperor, Kingdom of Shu Han. There we go. So we've captured another seat. So that's two. It's two seats. Two seats. Ah. 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 Right, I wonder if uh, Leo Bay will they sent you. Well, they, they would have, really, yeah. No, you really don't want to make peace, do you? You're like, you're really... You're really not happy with me. Um, well, it's kind of understandable, really. Kind of understandable. Uh, you've already moved. We're all fine. Our spy is currently the Empress of the Kingdom of Wu. Amazingly. So we, we basically can, can see all of their territory because, well... Our agent is the Empress, so, I mean, theoretically, theoretically, that should just make us Emperor. Uh, Ma Chao is rank 9. Holy shit. Intensity? Oh, it's tempting, isn't it? It is tempting, Internal Blaze. He doesn't get... Fl oh, no, he does get Flames of Phoenix. There it is. 
I want Flames of Phoenix, so we should probably go for Intensity. Uh, maybe that will stop him from getting stuck in walls. I don't know. Most brilliant warrior. Not when he's stuck in a wall, is he? Hmm. Then, not so much. Okay, so. I answer your request. Th thanks. Um, remembering that we should put out all the fires that we've started. There we go. And of course, we've got a little bit more money, which is good. Um, we should probably... I mean, there is an army down here, isn't there? I've, I feel like... I, I don't know what effect the Civil War's going to have. That's the only thing. I don't know kind of what what we're going to have happen. So I don't know whether to do it right away or to make sure that we've got like armies in position to to utilize it. But maybe we should deal with Lady Feng first because you know Lady Feng is right here. Uh, well, let's let's let's, uh, let's 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 see what happens. Let's play it by ear. Be interesting. I wonder if any of the other YouTubers have ever managed to get a. Uh, A spy to be the faction leader of an opposing empire because that's oh no kong wrong don't do it mate come on be Neither cool of us will survive this war. uh all right wow you really like me for some reason war uh war atrocities against our enemies oh that that would that would that would explain it okay sure our spirits are in concert yes we both like war atrocities apparently which I guess is something to bond over. Guess that's fine. Is that fine? It doesn't feel fine. Are we the baddies? I mean, arguably, yes. Really, I have executed a lot of people. And I've burned a lot of stuff to the ground, um, to be fair. So, we have signed a peace treaty. That's nice. Garrison games. Following the town's capture, you asked what you should be done with the imprisoned men of the town's former garrison. They appeared to be competent soldiers who might prove useful if enlisted. But many harbour loyalties to your previous war and display a reluctance to serve you. Uh, persuade them. Bribe them. Uh, fear some adversary. Or beloved lord. Uh, you know what? We'll release them. You let the prisoners go, for their men of lost purpose are no longer a danger to you regardless of loyalties. Ah. Oh. I'm such a nice guy, apart from all the war atrocities, obviously. That, you know, that, that may overshadow s somewhat some some of the bits and pieces. But I think overall, you know, I'm not a bad guy, really. Uh, right, do we go after... Okay, let's, let's do this. Let's... We need to, to deal with Lady Feng. So let's go after these guys. I think if they attack the fishing port, we will um, we will fight that one and deal with them. I also want to deal with, with Kai over here. Now, technically, we're not actually at war, but I kind of think I probably should just sort of knock them out. Do they have an army? Yeah, they do. Okay, let's... Oh, yeah, we're an ambush stance, aren't we? Let's... Um... Let's head over there, deal with that. Jinjiang is going to march on down here. Markong is going to go and take this livestock farm. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just bot that nice and easily. There we go. Authority has been restored. Just we must Kipardo. if we are to rebuild. Uh, there's a little army there, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. Got another little uh, army that. Wait, who's that? That's, that's Shu Han, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Good, good. Got another army down there. You are. I mean, I wonder if Sao Sao will just give in now. Because, I mean, we have been kicking the shit out of him, haven't we? Really, Sao Sao? Do you really think. I mean, come on, mate. Come on, mate. I mean, like. You've, there's nothing. You've got nothing left. What are you going to do? A. I mean, you li you're supposed to be sort of a Machiavellian like manipulator, but that's just not. You're just not doing very well, are you, mate? You're just not. It's just. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. I'll be honest. You know what, script? We're just going to go straight for him. I don't care. We're going to take my toolmaker back. 
And we've got Huon Lin, who I'm going to... I mean, we lost this farmland quite a while ago, so let's go and retake that while we're here. Uh, Pang De is still replenishing a little bit, but we could go and take that toolmaker. Is there anyone at home in that city? No. Okay, in that case, that toolmaker's mine now. Focus your rage! Bop. From the roots to heaven. I'll have that. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, well, thanks. That's very kind of you. Uh, oh, I'll... I, sh I should have done some... I was, fight I was pl fighting a battle to start off with. I was going to go around and sort of upgrade some buildings, but I kind of want to do that off-camera because it's going to be a bit boring for everyone to watch me just wander around trying updating, uh, up up upgrading all these buildings, trying to work out what to build, to be honest, because I'm sure that I need to demolish some stuff and rejig it realistically to get the most out of... Uh, oh, we've got a war axe. Uh, to get the most out of my settlements. But to be honest... It's probably fine. Um, and also, do we have some assignments to hand out? Uh, income from commerce. We probably want to do that here. So let's do that. There we go. So I'm making seven cases. To be honest, I could get another army. But again, I'm kind of at this point where I think I'm. I just. I think I've got enough armies. Like I could probably do with more, but I don't really. I mean, I've got enough to fiddle about with. Um, Let's go and hunt you down. You're going to run away. Yep. No massive surprise there. Um, are you, can you reach us? You can potentially reach us. Might just scooch there and maybe do a little ambush and see if maybe they want to try and go for the temple. Uh, I'm just kind of like drawing the noose closer and closer around them. So I don't think there's anything to worry about too much. Just keep a check on my spy. When can we do instant? Okay, so 5070. We're currently at uh, 4757. So very, very close. Probably need to get a little bit of a cushion because I don't know if it'll fail. Oh, we've got two armies there, I see. Okay, that's not. Great. What's the map view? Supplement, supplement, supplement. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, I mean, they've taken some damage. So have we. I wonder if we offer surrender. I don't really want to lose Markong. Screw it. I'll offer surrender. I think that just means they get like put back into the officer pool and we can just remuster the army. I probably should have been a little bit more cautious. That's on me. It's a kingdom oh, it's a kingdom of Wu, because they'll be they've got a lot of people to move around, haven't they? And Lady Fair. Right, okay, so we are, because if we have a look at the map view of this, yes, although these guys will have. They don't have fire arrows. Honestly, I think it's going to be a, a whitewash. We've got a lot of archers, but that's about it. I think we can win this one. So Kong Rong wants revenge. Well, if he wants it, he's going to have to work for it. So attacking us, they do have quite a few units of archers and some crossbows, which is a little bit of a problem. What I potentially should have done is pulled these units back because the crossbows would have continued to move forward to engage them. Then I could have pushed my archers forward and uh, open fire on them. As it is, our poor spear warriors here who don't have shields are basically getting mown down. Go, 
I used to be a spear warrior like you, but then I took a crossbow bolt to the face, groin, lower leg, upper arm, basically everywhere. And then I died. So that was unfortunate. Right, okay, so they're dead, but that's, you know, that's fine. They're just there to soak up missile fire. We've got G infantry captain behind them. We've got more units of spears. Ah, here they come. Archers now advancing. Uh, we can see Wang Li. Wang, Wang Li? Wang Lei. He's, he's running away. He's gone. They are charging forward. We're going to charge forward to meet them. And our archers are whittling down. Then, of course, we've got the towers as well. So that's helping a lot. Their archers are going to start running low on ammunition. Down to 73% already. So we got this. We've got yet more units of infantry moving up to plug the breach. G infantry captain taking some fire there as well. These guys continue to soak up missile fire, which I'm completely fine with. Because, you know what? The more they waste their crossbow bolts, the less I have to worry about them. And also, because they're standing right next to the tower, of course, the tower is just picking them off one by one. Boop. 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 Like getting, just get that boop to the nose. Boop to the nose with an arrow. Right. Well and truly booped. However, we do have reinforcements having arrived, being led by Lou. Lou's arrived to back up Kong Rong. And there's Kong Rong himself. He's a little bit sour grapes because of the whole, you know, destroying his kingdom. I mean... Pfft. I mean, get over it, mate. Jeez. What's his thing like? What's he got? Kong Rong's armor. Only gives him 10 armor. Plus 30% range block chance, though. So that's not bad. Also some cunning. The perfect weight and fit tailored for a warrior of class and distinction. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's filling full of arrows. Okay, our archer's doing some good work. Looks like uh, Wang, he's off. Wang's gone. Shriveled away to nothing. And their archer's getting picked off now. That's pretty good. Okay, good. We, we've held this gate pretty well. Uh, we've got units now approaching this way. We've pulled some of our infantry back so we can lure them in. But uh, our towers, of course, we've got four towers here. So the towers just whittling down their numbers very, very rapidly. Each shot kills a man, basically. And as you can see, they fire quite quickly. However, they now are now in missile range. That means our spear warriors are going to get well and truly pincushioned. Stand firm, boys. St I said stand. Not fall over. Honestly. Now, this guy's, this guy's got it. Look at this. He's got several arrows embedded in his neck. He's like... Bring it on. That's what we want. That's, you know, that guy. That's what we want. Him. More of him, please. More people who can take several arrows to the chest and still still stand. Uh, Kong Rong is advancing on us, which is very brave of him. I mean, he does have 30% missile resistance. He does have a bow as well. But uh, I'm now going to target him with the towers. And he doesn't have much health. So, um, basically, he's, he's going to go down like a ton of bricks. He doesn't even have a very good sword. Let's have an Imperial Bow, though. So we're going to be yeah, popping him full of arrows. Come on, Kong Rong. Get, get wrecked. Come on. Come on. He's got 17k health. That's not an awful lot, really. It's poor. Come on. But we'll, we'll get him in a minute. He's fine. We're just shoring up our defenses here. We're getting some more spears in to lend some assistance. I think some more coming in for... Uh, yeah, there we go. More spears coming in. Uh, look at that. There we go. We're taking out Kong Rong. Kong Rong is getting filled with arrows now. There we go. He's down to 8.5k. 7.3. 5. 3.4. This is not going well for him. He's got several... He's got... Yep. See, this is a problem when you have 10% 10, 10 armor, isn't it, Kong Rong? Doesn't work out very well. What's going on? Where are you going? Got... Nope, you're dead. There you go. You fell over. Nope. Nope. See? See? shouldn't have been so cranky about the whole kingdom thing should you you should have joined me and we could have ruled as father and son potentially uh so the last little blob of infantry here getting rained arrows little arrows just raining down on top of them more infantry piling in basically this this is not looking good for the enemy army they're starting to to break and run kong rong's down lu is uh, the only general left on the field and our towers are focusing him down off they go. Last few units running for their lives. And we have saved a settlement. Quite easily, actually. Oh. 
Lay down. Those who oppose harmony must be crushed. And those who attack a minor settlement with towers without fire arrows get fucked. So let's uh, take the ransom. Thank you very much. They're going to have to pull back, and they're now right in the way of uh, my ar advancing army. So they're, they're screwed. And Lady Feng should then fall to Zhuge Liang and his his cronies. And uh, of course, Cheng 007 Bo. Bo 00. Yeah, that guy. Uh, Duchy of Wei vassalized the Duchy of Shu Han. Well, that is unexpected. Settlement lost. That's fine. Markong, I believe, is fine. Uh, now, we do have this siege over here. So oh, we should probably do something about that, shouldn't we? Uh, could we? Can we not raise an army? Can we raise an army here? Raise an army. Good. Right. Markong. Yeah, there he is. Okay. So we can get Markong. Lead strongly. Bosch. Uh, who was with him? It was Chen Lin, wasn't it? Chen Lin. Be still. To conserve spirit. And who else? Remain fast against the cold. I you know, I will. I think it was was it Zhao Ji? I mean he's got he's got some lads, hasn't he? I think it was that. China is people. Could we maybe get some better, better lads? Could we maybe do something like that? Like really beef this army up? Give us, give us some more sort of, you know, punching power. Crossbowmen I'm okay with. The Jan Sword Guard, we can get the Raiders, who are just better. And I mean... Seen it. I mean, yeah, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll be sort of like reducing these levels, you know, the the rank to one. But they've got they're like resistant to morale, so or fatigue, so you may as well grab them. Okay, so that's fine. So we haven't lost Makong. Makong's back. Uh, Fugan is brilliant, apparently, which is a really good trait. Who is Fugan? He's just some guy, isn't he? We send on assignments. I remember. Right. Okay. So. Leo, are we still at war with Leo Bay then? Or because we vassalized them, are they not at war with us now? For China. Are we at war with them? I can't tell. Taking foreign assets. Okay, so we're not at war with Leo Bay at the moment, just at war with Sao Sao. So I'm wondering if maybe we could, like, we could potentially get a peace treaty with him. Do we want to, though? That's the question. Do we want a peace treaty? With bloody Sao Sao. Or, I mean, the thing is, all we need to do is capture the last capital. And we've got a spy, potentially. If we wait two more turns, I reckon we can do that. So, where are you buggering off to? I don't know where you're going. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Where would you be heading for? I don't know you would be. You know what? Let's just try and... If I like go here... Maybe try an ambush. See if we can catch them in an ambush. Something like that. And let's go and retake this farmland over here. Uh, yeah, I'll just delegate that one because that should be fairly straightforward. From the roots to heaven. Uh, just occupy that one. To A city. local ho hero. Uh, character recruited. Good. Good, good, good. I think we've got a stone archer as well. Lovely. Who did we get? I honestly don't. Would it be this Juan Gang? He's a he's a bandit apparently. He is. Um, impeccable he's also trusting and unobservant sure why not why the hell not okay we lost this farmland which was a little bit disappointing but 
right, what we do have try? Jinjiang, right. Oh, no, no, you're marching. I don't want you to march. Shit. Okay, Get head moving. for the city, because I, I, I wanted to lay an ambush. I thought I'd be able to do that now. Now, do we... Do I just try and peace out? I return. How fair or do I deal with Sao Sao? I feel like dealing... I mean, the problem is Sao Sao's always going to be a thorn in my side if I, if I leave him, isn't he? So I may as well just finish him off now. And I may as well deal with... Um, with Leo Bay. So we'll declare war on Leo Bay again. Uh, we will continue the siege. And we'll just bring everyone up here, because the more the merrier, I guess. Just do something like that, I think. The people's voice cannot be silenced. Uh, who we got? What have you got? A tax collector? It's actually not bad. Grant have him. Dignity and, death. and he do. You are scarred, you're honourable, you're composed. Lots of good stuff there. You've also got a dignified raiment. You're also a, a commander. So, you're a, oh, you're the Grand Commandant, are you? Um, screw it. I'll execute you as well. Just, you know, go on a bit of an execution binge. Now, I need to deal with Leo Bay. Over. I wonder if I can... You. <sighs> yeah, I need to go back and deal with that, don't I? I need to send an army back to deal with that. But we also need to deal with this. But I think that's going to be fine. We've got armies over here. Pangda. I don't... Th I think most of their armies are going to be over here. So I reckon we can actually go and grab this Imperial City. Or not. No. Ben, do not break. I'm, I'm gonna go. We're gonna be ballsy. We're gonna be ballsy. Continue the siege. Do some of that. If they attack us, we will kill them. I don't think they've got any other army nearby. I think all of their armies are here, and I don't think they can reach us in one turn. So if they do, if they start heading down this direction, then obviously we've got three armies over here. We've got Jinjiang as well. So basically, Sao Sao's screwed. I didn't move my other armies. What's this? Uh, is it Pangda? What's Pangda? They're attacking me, are they? Are they? Are they attacking me? Really? That's ballsy. That's very ballsy. I'm gonna give it to them, but obviously not give the battle to them. I'm gonna kill. So they do out. Mm. They, 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 they outnumber us by quite a bit. Okay, what do they have? They've got some lance cavalry. Uh, they got some. Okay, take out the defenders of the earth, obviously. Otherwise, not. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not overly concerned. I think this will be fine. We may be significantly outnumbered, but we've got something that the enemy armies don't have. Pang de. And frankly, the guy is, well, one of my best generals. So anyway, we're raining fire down on the enemy army. Absolutely brutal. Look at that. Bodies flying everywhere. That's what we want. Look, oh, look at those big piles of bodies on fire. What a win. So our army has moved up into position. We've got our heavy spear guards leading from the front. We've got our heavy crossbows and onyx dragons behind. We've got the G militia holding out on the flanks and in the forest, led by Lu Feng. We have our cavalry just waiting for an opportunity. The enemy warriors are running. Already, already legging it. Now we've only actually got one trebuchet, um, but already 353 kills. It's not bad. We do have some defenders of the earth. Defenders. Uh, which we need to deal with before anything else because those guys are mean and I do not like. Strongly dislike. So we're going to continue to batter the end. Look how many the trebuchets are just worth their weight in gold. Really are. So useful. 
So useful. R oh, absolutely devastated that look. Down to half strength already. And now our archers are opening fire. And yep, defenders of the earth. They ain't defending shit. Nope. Oh. They're dead. Good. Lovely. So far, so good. The enemy center is looking pretty weak. Do have units on the flanks. We've got some protective heaven coming up the flanks. That's a little bit of a problem. Um, but already, it seems we're breaking units in the center. That center's looking really weak. Archer units already being absolutely just torn to shreds by the Onyx Dragons. Just absolutely just devastated. Crushed. Uh, looks like Pangda is dueling some unlucky idiots. Who's he dueling? He's dueling Q from the James Bond films. Q, of course, known for his gadgets, not known for being able to survive Pang De, which is, I'm going to be honest, probably more important. Yeah, he's already he's already taken a taken a wallop. You are too to survive. Um. Up and die. Yeah, Pang De, just just end him. Just just take him out. Uh, we've also got uh, Zhangxi and Lu Feng engaging. Our cavalry are engaging the enemy cavalry. We're kind of trying to come around. We've got Gao Jia here as well. So we're going to drop a debuff on these units. So they've got less melee evasion and armor. So we should be able to deal with them pretty easy. These units of cavalry now are charging through. No, go no one's going to stop them now. How is Pang De doing? Pang De is just, I mean, it's just ripping this guy. It's ripping Q to shreds. No contest. Although it must be said that uh, Old Lu Feng here actually doing very, very well himself. Looks like he's going to win. Oh look, he's got oh got the spear, chucked at Amberby. Got it. Come on, finish this. Oh, straight through the face. There we go. That'll do it. How's Pang De doing? Pang De, he's slowing down in his old age. I think that's the problem. But I think we've got this. Compound, uh, just finish him off. There we go. Boffed him. Down. Our cavalry is just running down the enemy units now. We're getting nice surrounds there. Get a little charge there. More cavalry coming in. Lu Feng is dueling someone else. Having done so well the first time. Now taking on someone else. We've got a peasant band in the middle here, which we need to deal with. Uh, but that spear band, we just tore to, to shreds, basically. Uh, spear guards got ripped to pieces by three units of cavalry at once. They're down. Oh, how witty. How very witty. Our left flank is struggling a little bit as we're hit with protectors um, of heaven. But our missile units are whittling them down. Now, obviously, some of our G militia are getting hit by the crossfire there, but I'm not too bothered about them because, you know what, they, they replenish quite quickly. Cavalry, there we go. Lovely charges there. That's looking pretty good. More cavalry moving in from the flanks. That's Bob. Where's Bob? I saw Bob for a second there. Uh, there's Bob. Bob, one of our, one of our. I think that was probably our first, first marauder unit. Okay, so how's Lu Feng doing? Come on, Lu Feng, finish him off. Lu Feng, he's no, he's Ma, no Ma Tung, is he? But uh, I think he's doing, he's, he's, he's doing a pretty good show. Trying to make up. Well, I disagree. Well, it's like he's struggling at both at the moment. He just got kicked in the face. Come on, Lu Feng. Come on, just finish him off. Just, just stab him through the face or something. That worked out really well last time. Turns out humans weak to being stabbed in the face. Who knew? It's probably something to file away. I mean, who says this channel isn't educational? Try not to get stabbed in the face. That would be my... That's, I think that's the, that's the takeaway for the day's episode. Try not to get stabbed in the face. It's like Sesame Street. You get a little lesson at the end. Isn't that exciting? Oh, come on, Lu Feng. Come on. You should have... Look... Right, thank you. Was that so hard? I say just walk over him, why not?
I'm starting to think Justice that uh, cannot be denied. Pangda actually prefers battles where he doesn't have the advantage. Probably makes it more fun. For I'll take the replenishment anyway, just to patch him up a little bit. But I think I think we shouldn't have too much trouble. Trouble there. We do need to protect the capital though. Sao Sao's capital. Uh, Pangda has kind of been pulled out of position a little bit because uh, there was there was no one there to threaten it, but. That, that might change, but we do, of course, have our spy, so we can start a civil war. But that is um, it's taking a little while to get into position. But to be fair, she has managed to kill her way up the ranks quite successfully. A bit of a femme fatale. What a lady. We want to kill Kai just to make sure Lady Feng should go down soon we can deal with uh oh Jing Bao. okay well, i don't really care about him a steed to rival the ages very nice what do we get oh a red elite nice rebellion imminent where all oh, right what about we make you tax exempt that cheers you up doesn't it there you go yeah i should probably go back and check Check all the cities. Uh, can we win against this now? Just demand surrender and they will surrender. There we go. Easy. And Jinjiang. I can probably catch that army. So that'll be fine. Catch that army. That'll be fine. Then we just need to mop up. I wonder if we can, like, force Sao Sao to just... Your presence repulses me. Really? Come on, Sal. I mean, literally, really? Come on. I mean, I know I'm a little bit untrustworthy. Only 63. I've been worse. That's getting better. I'm less treacherous. See? It's fine. It's fine. We can deal with Lady Feng as well, finally. God, it's taking a while to get to her, isn't it? Uh, can we just lay siege? No one there. Can we just... just delegate. When justice triumphs, revelry awaits. No, no, Lady Feng's out there somewhere. By right. Indeed, there she is. But she won't be able to take the city, and we can just bop those two. So violent, we didn't even show it. Uh, replenishment, sure. And then we can move you back down here to lend some assistance, just in case. Wish, just in case you need to. Yes, yes, talk. Uh, well, I can't. I mean, you're literally just a, a vassal. So there we go. You don't have any cities left, I don't think. So I don't know what you're going to do. Probably desperately try and find a settlement to take, and maybe even successfully. How long before this city runs out of supplies? four turns if we give you one more turn to replenish then you can go and deal with those yellow turbines that'll sort that little problem out and okay do i do this now what i'm okay what i i don't usually do this but i'm gonna save it because i don't know If it's going to work or not. And I would like to finish the episode. Seventy-four. That's fine. So your spy prepares to perform the ultimate act of deception. A decree that will see them divide their faction. Declare their support for you. They're confronted by a cabal of loyalists. This is a coup. The undercover network runs deep. with support from every corner of society. If ever there was a time to exploit its potential. It is now. Commit. Spy change fact due to events outside our spy now serves a new faction. Oh. Okay. No longer Emperor Kingdom of Wu. The wall has lost their Imperial Palace and rallies against the perception they're no longer em okay. Kingdom of Wu declares war on Kingdom of Wu separatists. Okay. One of your spies succeeded in instigating a civil war within this faction of separatists loyal to us. Okay. So R -r right. Okay, what what what's happened? What's happened? Let's have a Holy shit. Hang on. What the hell's going on? Uh, 
ownership. Right. So... <laughs> so the Kingdom of Wu now control... What's that? Five provinces? And the King Kingdom of Wu separatists control a lot more. Um, does that mean that we win? I was expecting someone of import. A bit harsh. Vengeful rebel. That's not good. So, what are, are they? Are they friends? Friends? They're just another faction. So I guess she has... Have I just, like, literally just made myself another, like... I mean, I guess it's caused some problems, but I, I suspect that maybe, basically, she's just decided that actually she quite likes being Empress, which, to be fair, you, you can't really blame her, can you? Anyway, that's going to cause a little bit of chaos, isn't it? Because they're going to have to deal with the threat within stuff. I also guess that... This will be short. These guys are still under the Kingdom of Wu, as is Lady Feng. So actually... Actually, they've got some issues to deal with. So even if we end up at war... Yes, yes. What do you want? Never stays a subordinate, opposes power, dislikes a larger aggressive factions. Yeah, so I guess these I guess they're an emperor now. Can we check that? Uh yes we can. Okay, yes. So we need to take that capital. Has that made our situation any better? Well it's not made it any worse, has it? It's 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 just it's just turned it on it's just turned it on its head a bit. If anything, it's gonna give us time to mop up these last surrounding provinces before we then head straight for the Kingdom of Wu separatist capital. And while they're sort of dealing with their little internal problems down here, and I guess some of the armies probably wait, are you still our spy or your spy spying on themselves. I think I think it's because it did say she left. Spy changed faction, yeah. Or is that the case? Are they now just spying on themselves? I mean, technically, they are like the... The faction leader? I have no idea. So, well, that's interesting. Okay, so we've instigated a civil war, and... Um, I'm not sure what to make of that, but it's certainly something. Something almost certainly just happened there, and I'm going to have to sleep on that and decide how I feel about it. But in the meantime, we're going to have to mop up Cao Cao and Leo Bay, knock them out, and then we'll have to work out what we're going to do about that. But, the, but that is going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of the campaign formerly known as the Martung Campaign.